What's up, YouTube? I want to come up here and give my review of the weekend's At The Hours Till Dawn Tour. I'm going to start off by saying that I've been a fan of the weekend since the first time I heard him in 2011 on Crew Love. Ever since then, I've been following the weekend from the mixtapes to the trilogy to kiss land to beauty behind the madness to star boy at the hours my dear melancholy dawn fm i've seen the weekend a total of five times I went to go see the weekend for the After Hours Tour Dawn Tour in DC last week. And it was a great show. The weekend performed great. He did what he does best. He brought the vocals. He brought the energy. He interacted with the crowd. I was sitting in second row. He performed in all all sections of the stage. <clears throat> and personally, I don't really like the catwalk stage because I feel like someone is always missing out during the performance, depending on where he's at. When he's performing at the front of the stage, people at the middle of the stage at the, and at the end of the stage are missing out. When he performs in the middle of the stage, people at the front and at the end are missing out. And then of course, when he's performing at the end of the stage, people in the middle and people in the front are missing out. And then he, he performs with his back to you sometimes as well. So I feel like with that type of stage, I feel like people miss out when he's not in front of them. So I'm not a big fan of the catwalk stage. He had the same stage during the Starboard tour. Wasn't really a fan of it. I I would prefer just a traditional stage and with a traditional stage, performers typically perform in the middle of the stage most of the time and then they walk back and forth from end to end. But majority of the time, they're right in the middle of the stage. So I would have preferred that type of stage. Hopefully the next tour he has is a stage where it's a traditional stage. Because I don't really feel like he needs... I don't really feel like he needs a catwalk stage. Like, he's not... He's not a dancer. He, he, he moves around and he, he jumps around. And, and walks back and forth, but he's not he's not a dancer, so I don't feel like he needs a, a catwalk type of stage. He's not gonna moonwalk <laughs> down the whole stage, so I, I don't see the point of it. But you know, it 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 adds with effects here and there, but you you can do the same effects from just having a regular traditional stage. Um, I did like the fire that he had on the on the sides of the stages because they were really hot. Like if you were, I was sitting second row. If you was near that fire during the Hills performance, it was really hot. Like you felt you felt it on the side of your face. <laughs> it was really hot. Um. So yeah, I enjoyed the performance. Um, my only issue with this tour is the set list. Now, like I said to you in the beginning of the video, I've seen The weekend five times. And a lot of the songs that he performed, I've already heard before. He performed Starboy. 
He performed Cool Love. He performed Alter. He performed The Hills. He performed Die For You. He performed Call Out My Name. He performed Wicked Games, which that's a, Wicked Games is a song that he should always perform regardless. But honestly, I feel like with this tour being named After Hours Till Dawn, he should have solely focused on performing After Hours songs and Dawn FM songs. That's two albums right there that you barely, you barely touched on any of the songs from the album. From Dawn FM, he performed what? Sacrifice, Gasoline, Less Than Zero. Uh, Take My Breath. So Gasoline, Sacrifice, Take My Breath, Less Than Zero. That's four songs right there. Uh, out of time. Out of time. That's five songs right there. Where was... Oh, he, he, he performed... He performed... Um, Is It Someone Else? Okay, so that's six songs. Where was... Best Friends? Where was... Star Eyes? Where was... I heard you married now. Where was Where was for one, where was well I know you I mean he could have still played the Jim Carrey um Phantom Regret, even though it really wasn't a song. He could have still played it and had it in there. Um There was a lot of songs I was still missing that he didn't perform from Dawn FM. And don't even get me started on After Hours. Where, he, from After Hours, he performed, I'm thinking of this on the top of my head. After Hours, he performed the After Hours song. He performed Faith. He performed Blind and Lights. He performed Heartless. And I honestly think that was it. After Hours, Faith, Blind Lights, Heartless. That's four songs. That's four songs from After Hours. It's unacceptable. Where was Scared to Live? Where was Too Late? Where was Repeat After Me? Where was He performed Alone Again? I forgot Alone Again. He performed, he opened up the show performing Alone Again. Give him credit for that. Where was In Your Eyes? In Your Eyes was my one of my favorite songs from the album. Where, in Your Eyes is probably... Faith is my favorite song from After Hours, but In Your Eyes is probably my second favorite song from After Hours. Where was In Your Eyes? Where was Until I Bleed Out? Where was that? Why are you still performing Starboy during this tour? Why are you still performing often The Hills? Even though I love The Hills, The Hills is my favorite song of his live. The energy, the, the, the bass, the beat dropping, and the fire, the effects that he does with that song. That's my favorite song that he performs live. 
and honestly, you know, I, I, I can take it or leave it on this tour because I, I do love hearing that song live. But you should have stuck to the theme and the songs from those albums and focus on that. I don't get why you're still performing songs from Starboy. I don't get why you're still performing songs from Beauty Behind the Madness. Like, and, and even with that, you didn't perform Earned It. Why not perform Earned It? You perform Can't Feel My Face. Why not perform Earned It? Earned It was the first big song from, from Beauty Behind the Madness. So I, I, I don't get the thought process that that went into this set list. I would love to discuss it with, with the person that came up with this set list. Um, I, I just I just don't get it. I disagree with it. I felt like with this tour being delayed as much as it was, and you dropped the whole project in the meantime of this tour being delayed. So you had two albums to perform that the world had not seen you perform. And you still performing old songs from old albums. Yes, I understand you have your classics. I understand. I, I love your classics. I love Crew Love. Crew Love is the first song I heard from you. I, I fell in love with it. I still listen to it. Damn near like it just came out today. I love The Morning. I love Wicked Games. I love Starboy. But you should have focused The weekend. If you're listening to this, you should have focused on the past two albums that you dropped that you have not had a chance to perform due to COVID and rescheduling the tour. You left so many songs from those albums out on the table. And what are you going to do? You're going to perform it at the next tour for a new album? What would be the point? What would be the point of you performing Scared to Live for, for the new tour for your new album? What would be the point? Where would that fit in? Where, where, where do these songs fit in the theme of the tour? Where does these songs fit in? I, I don't get it. So that's that's my only gripe with this tour. And p people, I, I I was reading Reddit before before I went to my scheduled show, and I saw people complaining about the set list, and and I didn't want to read into it too much because I didn't want it to spoil it for me. So I didn't want to know all the songs he performed. But I was hearing some rumblings about people being disappointed with the set list. And I can honestly, I can agree with them. I felt like you left a lot of songs out there on the table. And for the people that really, you know, we, we haven't seen these songs be performed due to these being recent albums and due to you not being able to perform these songs because of COVID. And you left out a lot of songs that I personally wanted to hear from these albums. And I'm sure many other people did. There's no reason why you didn't perform until I bleed out. Really? So you you dropped uh, plenty of videos for After Hours. And... You dropped the video for Too Late in Your Eyes Until I Bleed Out. And that's about all I, in Heartless. I believe that's it. That's all I can think of right now. You performed Heartless but where was too late until I bleed out? And too late until I bleed out and in your eyes. 
and we were scared to live. I just don't get it. I just don't get it.